Hey everyone, this is Jim from GuitarLessonsForAll.com. Today I'm going to try doing a video uh, point of view, so it's kind of hard to actually monitor my phone to see what um, the GoPro is seeing, and that way you can see how I pick, or what we're really going to do is compare um, different styles of picking, basic with alternate, going between leading edge and trailing edge picking. And all that really means is, is when you pick this part of your pick, this is very hard to do this with the GoPro, the forward part of your pick or the pick that's the side that's closest to your neck pickup, that is the leading edge. The pick side here, right here, I got a clear pick that doesn't make it actually easier to see. Oh, there we are, right there. That's your trailing edge. So that's the side that's against your bridge pickup. So basically leading edge is when you do a downstroke, the edge of your pick is the one that is facing the neck pickup and trailing edge is when you do your downstroke, it is facing your bridge pickup like this. So it's a difference between holding the pick like this or what you conventionally see like this. So we're just going to give a couple runs at it here and see what happens. I am just recording this um, through my Marshall. Uh, the camera mic is picking it up, so I, don't, I hope the audio turns out decently. And um, so this is a, not a direct recording, so there's no compression on the sound other than uh, what the amp is giving it. So it's not a digital signal and it's not being recorded direct. So what you're hearing is purely what the camera is hearing and hopefully the audio will turn out good. <laughs> So anyway, so this is basically leading edge pick, picking. Now this is going to be trailing edge, so instead of holding the pick at an angle like this, I'm reversing my angle like this. So I basically want to kind of play the same two riffs so you can hear them compared against one another. Um, my question is to you is, how do you guys hold your pick out there? Do you hold it with, with your downstroke with the leading edge or do you do it with the trailing edge? Um, I find I actually switch between both depending on what I'm playing. I feel that one with the trailing edge, uh, which kind of what I think believe uh, Marty Friedman kind of holds his pick like that. I can get just a little bit more subtlety, so to speak. Um, uh, so far as playing soft is concerned, I can really, because I'm really concentrating on my wrist motion here. I can get maybe a little bit softer, but that said, I can't get as much dynamics because I really am kind of isolating uh, particular muscles in my wrists to get that motion. And it's, uh, I would say it's a little bit more finesse. Whereas if I'm using um, leading edge picking, I can get a little more aggressive and I can get, I can either go soft or I can get a lot more where it's snapping a little bit more. Playing that a little softer. Now I'll play that with a little bit more harder. So you can hear there's differences between the tones and the muscle movements involved with that. I teach all my students basically um, try to use both techniques because I see a lot of guitar players and videos out there saying that you should use only one style of picking. And um, I really don't go along with that because even if you're doing like chordal picking, and my guitar's buzzing a little bit here. And it's a little out of tune on top of that. 
I'm basically flat picking. So really depending on what I am playing is, um, uh, depending on what type of technique I'm gonna use so far as my picking is concerned and what type of tone I'm also going for as well. So um, let me know how you guys pick out there, which, which you prefer. Uh, also the type of pick you guys are using. Um, I am using, I'm gonna try to put this up to the camera. This is really weird to kind of do this with a camera on your head. Um, I actually use, so let me try pulling that back a little bit. I actually use a Dunlop um, Altex 1.14 with a pointed um, edge. I really like these picks because they are um, more defined in their tone than like a Tortex pick or a celluloid pick. And believe me, I, I, I used to work at a music store. <laughs> I've gone through a lot of different picks. And um, I really prefer these because uh, they just have so much more definition with the attack. Um, they're, they're a great pick, plus, they, plus the other fact they really don't wear out. But uh, anyway, guys, let me know um, what type of picks you guys are using and how you prefer the hold to pick and um, how you position your hand on the uh, guitar body. And uh, just let me know in the comments below if you find this video cool and uh, get a little information out of it. Uh, make sure to click the like and subscribe to uh, my channel. We're going to have a lot more future videos um, coming up and we'll be discussing all sorts of things uh, so far as techniques, um, musical ideas, theory, equipment. That's going to be another biggie. And uh, just pretty much everything guitar. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video and make sure you subscribe. Thanks.